Trinidad Tobago coach Tom St. Feet announces his intention for the Trinidad and Tobago squad and explains his call-ups. Find out more in one minute. Hey everyone, this is Andres Suklal of Extra Time TV and for those of you who have been following the events of the Trinidad and Tobago national football team, Tom St. Feet has made his selections, he did his homework, I've seen him at games uh, and he's made a squad uh, and he has finally broken down to 23 but uh, while I was out of the country, Kevon managed to get down there and get a statement from the current head coach to give us his thoughts on his approach to why he chose the players, his philosophy and his, you know, Basically, his methodology and how he's going to try to get us results in such a short period of time. So, join Kevon as he gets a statement from Tom St. Fee. I told her earlier that I'm really happy to be here and proud to be here. And, uh, it's a good start. Um, it's good that we start. I know the players have to go still to their clubs. Uh, but for me, it was a uh, first contact with the players and a good chance to analyze a little bit and for them also, actually. So uh, I come, I'm uh, quite happy with, uh, with the commitment of the players for today. Coach. Coach, um, set formations. Are you the kind of coach that have set formations and set lineups? or? Does that depend on the, on the players you have at your availability? Yeah, um, I try always uh, to play with the quality we have compared to the opponent. Because if we have good quality, but the opponent has better quality, our quality is not so good as the opponent, so I have to choose my time. Uh, in this situation, I come in a country who had this year, maybe not so good year, uh, two victories against St. Vincent and Grenadines and uh, one against Dominican Republic are the only victories in 2016. So my first aim is try to get a tactic to get points. Maybe it's not the most attractive tactic, but playing good and losing 4-3 doesn't bring at this moment anything. We need immediately results, for sure, against Suriname and against Haiti. So my tactical choice will be based on a result oriented, based on our quality compared to the quality of the opponent. Uh, further, I don't want to say too much about my tactical choice or ideas, because also Haiti and Suriname can follow the media coverage, and I don't want to make them wiser than they are already. Uh, I felt a huge commitment of the guys, good atmosphere. For me, uh, the connection between coach and players, between staff and players, uh, is very important. For sure, when you talk about national team level, a uh, national team coach has not so much influence on uh, the, the physical part of players, because I train normally only five days, now maybe a little bit longer with the group. You don't have so much influence on the technical part, because making players better takes much more time. My uh, biggest influence can be tactically, and psychologically, and I think if you play for the national team, it must be first of all an honor to be selected. We have 1.3 million people and only 11 people will stand in the middle of the stadium, listen to the anthem, and only 20 or 23 players will be selected. So I want players who feel committed to the team, to the country, uh, who feel responsible for that, and then you need to create a group of players who are ready to battle, to fight. I always say national team is a modern kind of army war uh, to fight against another country, and uh, we need players who will fight for their country because we have to go to the Gold Cup and later state uh, to the World Cup. So that was today for me very important to see, to screen uh, what is the group mentality. Uh, and I noticed that there's a group of players who are very committed, who is uh, happy to be here, and that's a good start. Okay. Coach, thank you that's very okay. much. So there you have it, folks. Kevon managed to get uh, some pretty good insight into what the coach had to say. So also, Stay tuned as we speak about the 23-man squad. Also, check out our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Kevon and I will discuss further in one of our full episodes. And also, we're going to speak about the World Club Cup, the Ballon d'Or, Ronaldo has won, and many more topics on EXTV. So this is Andres Soklal of Extra Time TV, signing out. Okay guys, so don't forget, if you like and subscribe our page on YouTube, Extra Time TV, you instantly qualify to win a copy of FIFA 17. So don't forget, like and subscribe.